Okay, so part three. Here is the, um, I think, another IBM ThinkPad that I just got. Still works. The battery doesn't work, as I explained in part two. So, yeah, it's not going to power on. But everything's original on it. It has the original IBM software. It has pretty much anything you'd expect an old 1990s IBM ThinkPad to have. So, I'm hoping to start it up one day. I'm just showing you guys how many laptops I got. I don't even know, I lost count. I'm gonna have to start at the end of this video. Here's another IBM ThinkPad 380ED. There's one here, there, and there. Let's see if the battery held a charge. Nope. Something in the floppy drive, though. Uh, nothing on it. I can't even tell. But, this is another one. This one has all the screws in it, too. The battery, however, is a little bit smaller. It's a, I think, a couple, I think a few inches or centimeters. I don't even know. I'm not good with measurements, but I have to keep a little piece of paper in there. So the, um, I know what I'm talking about. I just, I don't even know how to word this one. So the electrical slots can stay connected to keep the machine on. I don't know. Call me crazy. I just don't know what I'm talking about right now. Here is a Toshiba satellite, not satellite, Toshiba T4500C. It's cute little LCD display, which is very clean, by the way. Well, maybe a few fingerprints. Um, I found an adapter for it. Um, I have to, I don't know how to, how to say this, but whenever I turn the machine on, I have to quickly unplug the adapter and plug it back in. Because if I plug the adapter in and turn the machine on, it'll turn back off again. The voltage is correct, but this machine has a little, little devil in it. It won't stay on. It's missing two rubber feet, but the other three are still here. <clears throat> okay. Here we have the Apple iBook that I bought for 25 bucks with the original box and the CDs and the charger. However, the only thing that had to be replaced was the CD drive. Kind of looks ugly like that, but it works. Let's see if this one powers on. Okay. Oh. Kidding me? It's not a really good year. I'm having a lot of bad luck. I wonder I think the battery still works. I'm pretty sure it does. And last but not least, the only computer left is the Toshiba Satellite A60. I do have the M60 still, but really? It's in the filing cabinet along with the 5050. I'm not going to deal with it at this moment, but I still have it. And this machine doesn't turn on either. Yeah, the battery in this machine is pretty much done for. It only holds a charge for 15 minutes and that's it. But I'm running 
Microsoft Longhorn, Windows XP Longhorn, and I'm going to install a crack software on it. The only repairs that I did to this machine is I glued the screen hinge on with Gorilla Glue. And look at this. It's not coming apart. Unfortunately for the Dell Latitude D600, <laughs> that sure didn't work. You can still see some Gorilla Glue here. And a whole whack of it under here. So, how many laptops do I have? Let's get counting. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. So I've got 23 laptops. That's not bad, actually. Um, I think that's more... Oh, wait. 23. 24, 25. I'm including the Toshiba M60 and the 5050. So I have 25 laptops in total. Unless if I missed a number, but I don't care. But yeah. That's all of my laptops, and <laughs> I think that tops it off. So, this is it. I'm done. I think next I'm going to see how many computers I have. I'm pretty sure the number has dropped because I've been donating some, but I still have the good old 5711 tower which is underneath that compact, or no, HP computer. Thanks for watching.